it is a really fearful thing when we do not receive the counsel of the Lord, when we don't seek the Lord, when we don't seek the Lord with our, all of our hearts and receive His truth. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. And that is the truth. Jesus is the truth. Nothing else. Regardless of how this world tries to twist things. And so if we look in the book of uh, Isaiah 5, the Lord is doing using a parable, a parable of the vineyard, of all that the Lord has done and how people turned away from him and it's it's a it's a call for us to get right with god because the days are really really dark folks and they're going to get even stronger darker and so i am um being obedient to the lord and the message he put in my heart is how it talks in Isaiah 5, I'm paraphrasing, okay, that the, the beloved of the Lord, they, um, uh, in Isaiah 5, 4, it says, What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done to in it? Okay, the, everything that the Lord has given us, He has given us His only begotten Son. He has been, uh, uh, went to the cross the resurrection power of God Almighty. That's what we preach. Jesus Christ crucified and he went to the cross to save us. What more could he have done? And all he does for us day to day. And people just completely disregard. Okay. Completely push them aside. Uh, and, and they are have embraced a, the lies. As it tells us in Romans 1. They've embraced the lies, the satanic lies. And so he says, what more could I have done? When I looked and that should be, bring forth grapes, it brought forth wild grapes. In other words, the fruit that is bringing forth the nation itself is abominations. And the fruit as, as a person that we bring, um, it's very important. Amen. And, and verse 7, he talks about the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. You could say the house of America. And the man of Judah, his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment. Okay, he looked for judgment for his law to be performed. For us to be obedient. But behold, oppression. That's what he found, oppression. And he looked for righteousness, but behold, a cry. And that's what's left in this land, a cry, a cry to the living God to help us because of the evilness that's being done in the land. In the book of uh, same book of Isaiah 5, it talks about when they call good evil and evil good. And they pull darkness for light. They put darkness for light and light for darkness. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That is exactly what's being done. Verse 12, it says, And the harp and the viol and the tambourine, the pipe and the wine and their, in their feasts. But they, re, in other words, the people keep us in the days of Noah. They keep doing whatever they want to do and keep disregarding the Lord, keep uh, disregarding his warnings. And he says, But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hands. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because, why? Because they have no knowledge. They have no knowledge. And they have no knowledge because they are uh, deceived. They have no knowledge because they reject the truth. They reject the word of the Lord. Because the pulpits are preaching doctrines of devils. And people want to have their ears scratched and not listen to the truth. They don't want to receive any conviction. They don't want to receive the truth so that they can turn and be forgiven and come back to the Lord. And so it's a warning for us to turn back to Him. Verse 14, it says, Therefore hell has enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure and their glory and their multitude and their pump and he that rejoices shall descend into it. And so this is what happens to people that keep rejecting the Lord. They keep um, denying the Lord, denying his salvation and they end up in hell. 
and that is not the will of God. He wants all men to repent. And Hosea 4 talks about my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also will reject you. And thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of, the God, of thy God. I will also forget your children. So it's very crucial, folks, that we understand that we have to be closer than ever to the Lord. The Lord has given us a warning to come uh, and to seek his face, to get on our knees and, and um, seek him, to preach the gospel to the four corners, folks, to everyone that you can. Even if they don't want to listen, we endure and we persevere as he commanded us in Matthew 24 and, and in the book of Revelation by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Persecution is here, folks. Persecution is here. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it is here. We're seeing everything unfolding as he commanded us, as he told us and warned us in Matthew 10. The persecution would come. Those who live godly will be persecuted. I love you, my saints. I bless you. I pray for you. Keep me in prayer. And be strong and courageous. And don't let the devil take your, your uh, voice away. Put your trumpet to your mouth and blow the trumpet and tell people about Jesus. Time is so short, folks. I love you.